the FIFA Futsal Committee. Mr. Welcome Mr. along to the Hoamark Arena in Thailand. This is it then, the final of the FIFA 2012 Futsal World Cup and a match that quite rightly is being described as the dream final between the two superpowers of FIFA's official five-a-side game, Brazil, the defending world champions, the South American champions against Spain, the European champions and a side who Brazil took the crown from four years ago. Ago. The two most successful nations, Brazil looking to win the World Cup for a fifth time, Spain looking to edge closer with their third victory, and the only two nations to have ever been world champions at futsal. These two sides have met at every single World Cup. Seven previous meetings have brought about three wins for Brazil, just the one for Spain at the World Cup and two draws, matches which each side won on penalties. Spain beating Brazil in the 2004 semi-final en route to lifting the World Cup for a second time. And then four years ago, another 2-2 draw resulted in a 4-3 penalty shootout win for Brazil to lift the World Cup. Both teams have been in terrific form en route to the final. Spain were actually given their hardest match by Iran in their opener when they were held 2-2. Before that, it was victories against Panama, Morocco, a last 16 win over Ladies the host nation, Thailand, before seeing off Russia, a potential banana skin in the quarterfinal, and Italy in the semis. Both teams are out, Sepp Blatter, the president of FIFA, has met both lineups, and we're now ready for the national anthems. Absolutely fantastic atmosphere inside the Huamark Arena. Only a, a seat to be had for Spain versus Brazil. The biggest five-a-side match to be played anywhere in the world in a four-year cycle. And it is the two most successful teams. This is the fourth time in the last five editions of the Futsal World Cup that the ultimate match is a clash between South America and Europe's finest. Brazil have come out on top twice in the previous three, although Spain did defeat the Brazilians in the 2004 semi-final en route to beating Italy in the final, and in the 2000 final against Guatemala became the first team other than Brazil to win the World Cup. That is the five that starts, but it is rotating substitutes throughout the 40 minutes, 20 minutes each way 
to decide who will be futsal's world champions. Well, Brazil full of experience. There's two 35-year-olds in the team, including the captain, Vinicius, who's on the bench, and the number 12, Falcao, a legend, the Pele of futsal, is surely playing his last World Cup. And Gabriel, well, he celebrated his 32nd birthday, the Brazilian number six, yesterday. What a perfect present this would be to lift the World Cup for Brazil for the fifth time. It's Spain who bring the long unbeaten run into this final, though 119 matches since they last tasted defeat. That defeat was against Brazil, a team who Spain ended their long beaten run as well. 151 match world record unbeaten run ended in 2010. It lasted five years and it was Spain who brought that run to an end. A victory here for Spain and they may well be chasing that world record run of 151 games. They have met in every edition of the World Cup. And apart from the group stage in 1989, it has always been a decisive encounter. Hector Rojas of Peru is the man in charge of the big one. So the 2012 FIFA Futsal World Cup final draws to a close here in Thailand at the Huamark Arena, the main stadium for the seventh Futsal World Cup. Brazil have won four of the previous six, Spain two, and Vanacio Lopez mastermind a third victory for Spain, who won successive World Cups in 2000 and 2004 before their run as world champions was ended by Marcos Serrato's team on home soil in Brazil four years ago. Well, the form book says in 27 previous meetings, Brazil have won 14 to Spain's eight. But believe me, that counts for absolutely nothing when Brazil and Spain go head to head. This is the big one. This is El Clasico of international futsal. The two superpowers, Spain, eight times champions of Europe. Brazil, 19 times champions of South America. The reigning champions of their confederations. And the only two teams who have previously won the World Cup. Here's Neto. Blocked by Fernandão. Early attack here for Spain by Alimau. This is Kike. Alimau again. Now Kike. Towards Fernandel. The number of naturalized Brazilians in the Spanish team. Ari and Rafael, Gabriel, Vilda in the Brazilian ranks play their club futsal in Spain. Many links between the two countries. Thiago. And for the long throw, it came off the head of Kike. Early corner for Brazil. Last two meetings and the last two World Cups have both gone to penalties after 2-2 two -two draws. It's Fernandão. Spain were the last team to win one of these clashes at the World Cup in open play, 4-3 in the 2000 final. It's Fernandão. Prior to that, it was three successive wins for Brazil. Kike. Alimau. It's Fernandão. Now again, now Fernandão. There's no doubt Spain have had the tougher route to the final. Had to face the likes of Iran, the draw worked against them where they faced the much fancied Russians in the quarterfinals. Brazil's toughest challenge was Argentina, their big rivals in the quarters. They were taken to extra time in that one where they came through 3-2. Of course, seeing off Colombia in the semi-finals. Wins against Portugal as well. Another team with a big rival with Brazil. Alimau. What a chance for Brazil to end this 119 unbeaten run that Spain are on in the World Cup final. Sydney. Alimau. 
everything is on the line when these two nations meet in the futsal arena. So Lopez pacing up and down that touchline. Gabriel, that's blocked by Ocada. Gabriel. Gabriel. And Dow sticking with him. Expect it to be pretty tight. A match of true high quality. Neto skips away from Ocado. Here's a chance. Tight angle though. And off target from Fernandinho. Took to the second half to get the breakthrough four years ago and Marquinho scored four minutes after half-time in the 2008 final. Could open up, though, if early start. Either side were to grab an early goal. Kike across to take it. In by Kike. I talk about ambitious from Icardo, he was off balance and the ball was away from him. Simi. This one back by Kike. To Icardo. Now Ali Mao. Took a deflection off Simi, it's a Spanish ball. Now we'll take it. Kike going for the volley. Interesting to see how deep the other three Spanish outfield players were from that corner. It's Neto. So good defensively and offensively, these two sides. World Cup spanning and most certainly have deserved it. Russia beaten, Italy beaten en route. Most nation, Thailand taken apart as well. Here's Alamau. And out, Kike. Alamau. Kike, that's what I'd play though. Simi, one of the Brazilian base players, plays for Corinthians. Neto. Simi, challenged by Alimau. Expected sparring in the early moments. Signs in this competition that the rest of the world is certainly closing the gap on these two. Quite enough. Still have that extra edge to get them through to the ultimate game. Gabriel. Neto. Fernandinho. Seven goals so far for him at this World Cup. Two behind the leading scorer, Eda Lima. It's Fernandao. Well, made space for the opening well, but just couldn't pick the ball out to Borja. Neto. Now Simi. Here's Vinicius. Neto. See Vinicius again, the... Brazilian captain who scored in the World Cup final four years ago. It's 
final four years ago was the only Futsal World Cup final to require extra time and a penalty shootout. It's Fernand out. The five previous finals had all been decided in the night in the 40 minutes. Lozano under pressure from Ari. Just Fernand out. Now Miguel. Chance here for Ortiz. Lovely touch back. Oh, Fernand down. Then he got a crucial touch onto it. Lozano with the initial shot. Vinicius helping clear it away. But the first real opening of the final. Falling for Spain. That was a real captain's role from Vinicius, getting back to help out his goalkeeper. And here's Vinicius at the other end. And that was well into the side netting. Terrific play by Spain, though, to make the opening for the Barcelona man, Lozano. It's easy for Thiago. Jay. Netting. Olympic competition, Jay. Six goals. Manchester Adelino looks to have done enough with nine. He's one clear of Rodolfo Fortino, who grabbed a, a couple of goals in the third place playoff prior to this match. Realistically, the only player who could challenge him, but he would need a World Cup final hat trick to run off with the golden boot. Lozano, get off Harry. Comfortable enough for Thiago. Now Harry again to Vinicius. The way by Lin. Neto towards Vinicius. Steps away from Ortiz, who uncommitted himself with the initial challenge, helped out by Lindner. Now Ari. Right back by Jay. Jay again. Now Ari. I thought he kept it in on the stretch, but apparently not. Spanish ball. In. Again. In. Solid defending again by Brazil. Torres had a rather up and down final four years ago at the Barcelona Mani. Scored one of the Spanish goals, but then missed his penalty in the penalty shootout. Oh, two Spanish players to miss. Ortiz. On that, it will be a Spanish corner. Alan now with it. Really move for the chip up from Alamout. To find original ways to break down the opposition from a corner. Fill a small, fill a small area with everybody back. Rodrigo. Harry. Rodrigo is charged down by Ortiz. The fortunate to get possession back is Torres and now Alamout. Ortiz. Too many options, so he took the shot on, but it was dropped at source by Ari. Ari and Gabriel and Vilda, the three Brazilians, who play for Barcelona. Rafael Inter Movistar in the Spanish futsal top flight. Widely regarded as the top European league. Torres, oh, I thought he was blocked there by Jay. He's landed a bit heavily as well, Torres. Certainly holding his thigh. Then 
not have been given as a foul, but it was certainly a heavy landing and painful. I think he's unlucky there not to get something, at least for the obstruction. to Mercado, never skill, but Rodrigo comes away with it. Mercado, though, has won the free kick for Spain. Lovely drag back from Mercado. What can we work from here, though? over it. Kike and Arcado have gone either side. Three moments this for Tiago. Torres has touched to Lozano. And nothing coming of that and Lozano has gone down in some pain. Oh, goodness me. His ankle went right over under that challenge. That wasn't the best angle to see it. And he could be in real trouble here, Lozano. Let's hope it's not as bad as that looked. Sometimes when you see a player rolling around like that, you're inclined to think they were overreacting, but I'm sure he is. Could be out of shot more than anything because his ankle really went over. Sometimes, of course, you get lucky. By the looks of it, he may well have done because at least he's back on his feet again, but that looked a really painful one. Do fear his World Cup final may well be over here, Lozano. His reaction may have as much to do with that as the pain itself. That second replay really did show his ankle almost went to 90 degrees. Easily broken that looks as though he's escaped that. Involved in that earlier incident. Almost called about the opening goal for Spain, but for some good defending from Vinicius. A bright start from Spain. Here's Kike. Again, Kike touching it back to Migai. Brazil are claiming their last touch was off the Spaniards. It's Kike. She's not agreeing. Kike. Migai. Kike under pressure deep in his own area. Down towards Jay. Migain wins it back. Now Icardo. TK after that one, but Vinicius covering. Spain, of course, world and European champions. 11 a side game. Can they add the futsal crown to those titles? Migain. Alimao. The deflections behind for a Spanish corner. KK across to take it. Well played into Migain and Harry just did enough to put him off.
More defending for Brazil. A really promising start for Spain. That's gathered by Thiago. And immediately tries to release Jay at the other end, who is involved in a, a rather clumsy collision with Icardo. And him out. Icardo. And him out again. Icardo. Oh, it's lovely passing by Spain. Migain. Harry ahead of him. Harry with the block in. Migain wins it back, look. Now I'll him out. Icardo. Kike. Icardo. So getting the block in. Spain have certainly made the brighter start here. In the opening ten minutes. Juanjo has been pretty untroubled in their goal. Here's a chance, but blocked away. Vinicius. That's ball out to Ari and Spain will have possession back. Set up for the volley from Icardo. Neto did well. And him out. Kike. Migain. Lin. Alim out. Picked out the run of Lin. In turn, tried to head it into Migain. No sooner do they lose the ball, though, Spain, they win it back. Here's Alim out. Lin. Kike. Oh, it's a risky back pass, and Migain was almost onto it. Thiago had no choice but just to thump it clear. Ten minutes gone. Still we await the opening goal. 2012 FIFA Futsal World Cup final, Spain versus Brazil. Certainly the final that the purists wanted. It's Lin. Spain on this incredible 119 match unbeaten run since they last lost, which was against Brazil. It's Gabriel. Thiago. The team has shown that far from infallible, they were beaten by Paraguay in the semi finals of the qualification tournament 5 3 after extra time before beating Colombia to claim the bronze medals. South America, like Europe, has a separate qualifying tournament. The Copper America doesn't count as a qualifying tournament. That's one of those was last year, which Brazil won for the 19th time, beating Argentina 5 1 in the final. Neto. Spain's current run that perhaps makes them the slight favourites to come out on top in this final. It's Gabriel. Here's Neto. It's a Brazilian free kick, the foul by Kike. These teams have won World Cups in the Far East before, Brazil in Hong Kong in 92. Spain and Chinese Taipei retain their World Cup from Guatemala in 04. Simi then for Brazil. Our count still pretty low for both teams. Good deflection. Migai shields it back to Juanjo. It goes direct this time. The team's known for their passing and moving and their technical qualities, but both Brazil and Spain happy to go long. And the opportunity presents itself. Again. Lin. 
away. And Fernando has a block behind. Lopez there getting his point across to a number of the Spanish players on the bench. Miguel, so much experience and know-how in both these camps in terms of the players and the coaching staff. Fernando, Lin, by Miguel, and that was a rather panicked clearance from Gabriel. More time than the. Initially realised that. Now Ortiz over this. Great rivalry, but so much respect as well between these two nations. And out. Well defended by Brazil. Is Neto. Again, making way for Alamau to return. One player who doesn't play his club futsal in Spain. He's with Dina Moscow. Neto. Gabriel. Simi. Alamau breaking forward now for. Spain, Fernandao up against Gabriel and goes for goal, Fernandao, but off target. Good counter from Spain. And why having a corner can sometimes be more dangerous to you defensively. And it can be an opportunity to score a goal yourself. Juanjo, Fernandao, runs away from Gabriel and forces the save from Thiago. It's Fernandinho now. Lovely skill by Fernandinho. Fernandao with the challenge though. Now Alim out. This is Lin. There's Ortiz in support. Here is Ortiz. Now Lin. Oh, it's blocked away again. Now Alim out. Fernandao. Blocked away again by Gabriel this time. And you do get the feeling a goal is coming here for Spain. I think they just overplayed it, to be honest, in that last attack. That was the previous effort from Fernando. I think Ortiz perhaps should have pulled the trigger rather than coming inside again. Alimau. Fernando. This is Ortiz. Oh, look at that. 13 shots to four in favour of Spain. It's well cut out by Neto. Not often you see Brazil pen back at this sport. And it's certainly been the case here in the first half. And that's a timeout being called. I get the feeling it may well be a Brazilian timeout. Indeed, it is. I'm not surprised to see Marcos Serrato with the tactics board out. Side are being overrun. Plenty of options we haven't seen yet. He's been saving the legs of Falcao generally for the second halves of this knockout stage. Falcao barely featured at all in the group stages. And we haven't seen Vildi yet either, the player from Barcelona. There's another of the experienced campaigners in the Brazilian ranks. Like to Falcao, Vinicius. Surely has to be their last chance to win another World Cup. Lopez will be delighted with everything but the finish from Spain so far. They're dominating possession, which generally is the key to success here. Well, they've been terrific, the Thailand supporters. You do wonder who the Thai fans will be supporting. After all, it was Spain who beat them 7-1 in the last 16 and ended their dreams of going further. Great for the competition, though. They made it out of the group, the host nation. Here's Vinicius. And the biggest roar so far in this competition was Thailand's consolation goal when they were 7-0 down against Spain 
Here's Neto. Now Ari. Neto. I think given how well they've played first half Spain, they'll be frustrated. If they haven't got themselves some kind of lead before half time. Vinicius, now Ari. Fernandinho. Ari. Let's play behind Fernandinho. Ricardo. Alimau. Motif. Ricardo, Ali Mao, strong challenge, again with the flex out for a Spanish ball from, a shot from Ortiz. Miguel, Neto to Vinicius. Back from Fernandinho. This is Ari. Good block away. Well, they may be dominating Spain, but let's not forget the quality that Brazil have in their attacking ranks. Very nearly grabbed themselves a lead there against the run of play. Thiago. Ari. Lovely control, especially as he was slipping over. ability of some of these players at this level is just outstanding. Neto. Eric to Vinicius. Now Ari, over the top though. A couple of sights of the Spanish goal in quick succession for the Barcelona man. It's Kike. Vinicius. Vinicius, Ari. No less than nine Barcelona players involved in the two squads in this final. Six for Spain, three for Brazil. Here's Ari, here's Vinicius. Very challenged by Miguel. Now Neto to Ari. A touchdown to Vinicius, cleared away by Miguel. It's Brazil's best spell so far. Neto. Short for Vinicius, Icardo cutting it out, but Harry covers. Neto. And he took the safe approach, was tempted to go back to the goalkeeper, but went down the line instead, but just couldn't keep it in. TK for Spain. Miguel. Again towards Lin. Kike just losing his footing. Torres seems to be okay. Took that knock to the thigh in a heavy collision earlier. Haven't seen Lozano again since he turned an ankle. There's always that hope that. It's not quite as bad as it looked, but I think in that case, it was certainly enough to keep him out of the rest of this game. But you, you never know. Double the size tomorrow. Lozano's ankle. Here's Ari. Now Jay. Here's Ari. 
Vinicius, it's it back again, Vinicius, Jay. Well defended again, Spain. Alvaro applauding the work of his teammates in keeping Brazil out, just as they were beginning to look at their most menacing. Torres, Migain after this. We've done extremely well to keep that in. Ball just doesn't hold up at all on this surface like it does on grass. Here's Ari. Vinicius. Now Rodrigo. Ari. Rodrigo. Pick out the run, but Kike intercepting, and now this is Alvaro. Slowly playing their way into this, Brazil. They've been largely outplayed for the majority of this first half. Spain unable to take advantage of their bright start. The breakthrough. Oh, Kike was put under pressure by Migain's pass. Rodrigo. Three minutes for either side to break through before half time. Vinicius. Rodrigo. Vinicius. Jay held up by Kike. Now Vinicius. Rafael to Rodrigo. This is Jay. All the effort whipped in and over the top by Rafael. A terrific move by Brazil. Jay in the end just controlling the ball for Rafael shot and caught everybody on the hop. Torres. Here's Lin. Now Ortiz. And Torres just losing his touch for a minute. Rafael. Tiago. Jay. Now Vinicius. Rodrigo. Vinicius. Rafael. Jay. Blocked away by Torres. Alvaro. Now Lin. Oh, Vinicius beaten to it by Lin. Back to make up for the error though. The Brazilian captain. Still no sign yet of Falcao or Vilda. We saw Falcao pacing around behind the Brazilian bench. I'm sure we'll see him in the second half. He's an absolute legend of this sport. Massive star back home in Brazil. Here's Lin. More teeth. As he gather for Thiago. Now Rafael. Here's Rodrigo. Gabriel. Thiago out. Again, no nonsense, just lashes it into the crowd. And I think he caught a spectator there, just apologising. And a timeout call with a minute 26 to go by Venecia Lopez of Spain. It is as tight as we thought it would be. Technical ability, though, through the roof. chances on either side. None of them really clear-cut, just half openings. Two teams that don't give an awful lot away defensively, but have terrific quality in the final third to punish any chances that come their way. The wave making its way around the Huamark Indoor Arena. Making their own in 
entertainment during the timeout. I do love the applause that the spectators gave themselves after the wave that made its way round five or six times. Spain work here, minute 26 left. Spain nil, Brazil nil, the 2012 Futsal World Cup final. More teeth. <laughs> He's caught that between his legs, Gabriel. And it's taken down by Ortiz. Lucky not to escape a yellow card, actually. He was nowhere near the ball there. That's for one of Spain's main clubs, Inter Movistar. There's Rafael. He also plays for... That Spanish club. Teeth. With a minute to go. The accumulated foul count isn't going to come into it. Fernandao wins a third free kick, though, for Spain. It's nudged out of it by Rodrigo. could decide this it is that close more teeth over it what a boost it would be to grab one just before the break more teeth leaves it for Migain it's gone through and just round the back of the post well, one or two spectators thought it was in. Left by Ortiz. Migain driving it. Fernandez was the last touch. Just the wrong side of the post and round into the back of the net, but the wrong side. Rodrigo. Migain. Ortiz. by Thiago. Final seconds then of the first half. Rodrigo. He might have beat it four years ago. And it was nil-nil at the break. And a flaming handball from Jay. And what about the grab on the thigh as well? <laughs> Free kick either way. It's a bit of a wild kick at the ball from Ortiz, but Jay had his arm around the Spaniard's leg and then fell on the ball. Untidy play all round, which results in a Spanish free kick. It's Lint. Kike. Fernandao. It's Kike again. Well, the good news is, is that's Lozano back out there. Here's Kike. Oh, concentration, Fernandao. Well, that's terrific news because you really feel, you really felt for Lozano when he hobbled off that his World Cup final may be over. He seems okay. A few bags of ice later, driven through by Gabriel. And that is the end of the first half. So as four years ago in the World Cup final in Brazil, it is goalless between the two giants of the sport, Brazil and Spain, at half-time. It will become a 20-minute match to decide the destination of the trophy, unless, of course, extra time and penalties are required. And the way this game is going, the wise money may well be on just that. Half-time, then, in Thailand. It is Brazil nil, Spain nil. Welcome back then to Bangkok. The sides are out for the second half. 
of the 2012 FIFA Futsal World Cup final. And a giant roar went up all around this arena because Falcao is out there to kick off this second half for Brazil. There he is, the man that is to Futsal, what Pele, Maradona, Messi, whatever your persuasion is to the 11-a-side game. A true legend at 35 years of age. He's been used sparingly throughout this competition, generally not appearing until the second half of matches and barely featured at all in the group stages. But a man who has won everything in the game, Falcao, back playing in his native Brazil, a player who has won the golden ball at the last two World Cups, played his part in the qualifying campaign as well for Brazil with seven goals and playing at his fourth FIFA futsal World Cup. Can he make the difference for Brazil in this second half? We were under the cosh for a large majority of the opening 20 minutes. Here's Jay. Now Ari. He is a wonderful talent, Falcao. The legs are aging and he immediately went for goal with an audacious chip. It's a knowledgeable crowd here. They were fully aware of who he was when he came out. At the start of the second half is Icardo. Kike. Kike. Lofted out to Icardo, but intercepted by Ari. Having a run at Alimau, and that was a, a dreadful shot, really. A real snatch from. Ari. Ricardo. And Kike. Alim out. Alim out again. Faced by Jay. Ricardo. Now that's broken down rather too easily. Falcao. Rafael to Jay. Ari. Now Kike. Rafael. Oh, there was one or two appeals there from the Brazilians. No foul given though on Jay. Now Borja. Kike. That's by Falcao. He gets the block in. Now Jay, who's back on his feet again. Has Ari outside him. Here is Ari, who's found some space. Just overrun it, though. Or oh, did he? It's a corner. Nice ball from Rafael. Well, that's what they're appealing for. I'm not sure there was an awful lot in that from Alim out. Even if, if there was, I think Jay went down a, a little easily. Getting hot down there, Marcus Serrato has taken his tracksuit top off. <laughs> Harry with the corner. Left it out by Harry, Jay with the shot, this is Falcao. Falcao again, Jay. Now Falcao, can Spain counter. Stood off Borja. I think he thought about the shot for a second. It's Kike. Ricardo. Now Borja. Alimel. Kike. This is Falcao. It's Brazilian possession. One goal could certainly decide this final. It's never been less than three goals scored in a, a World Cup final. Brazil's 2-1 win over the Dutch in 89 and then Spain's 2-1 win against Italy in 04. Well, that's given away. 
And blocked by Falcao. Can't afford too many of those against opposition of this quality. Ricardo about to pull the trigger. Falcao showing that he's a all-rounded player. Getting the defensive block in. Fernandao. Ortiz. Here's Harry. Both teams looking for just that, that one opening, that one moment. Could prove absolutely pivotal in the winning of this World Cup. Seventh World Cup. These two nations have shared six between them. 4-2 in favour of Brazil. And this is the Spanish team on a 119 match unbeaten run. Brazil would love to end that and with it protect their own record of 151 unbeaten that was ended by Spain in 2010. Falcao. Falcao! Oh, it was a nice ball back to him from Fernandinho. He's already injected something into Brazil in terms of a attacking force since coming up. The fact he's on there gives Spain something different to think about. They know there's a player there now who can just produce something from nothing. Turn the tide in favour of Brazil. Here's Harry. Falcao. Rafael. Harry. Lovely flick from Falcao to Rafael. He goes for goal and forces the save from Juanjo. Now Falcao. It's the best chance Brazil have created so far. Falcao picking out Rafael. He managed to squeeze the shot through the legs of Fernandão. It's good reactions from Juanjo. Falcao for the head of Fernandão. Watched immediately back by Thiago. Oh, it's a corner for Brazil. Poor header from Lozano. And driven in! Oh, it's the opening goal for Brazil from Neto. What a fantastic goal! And despite their dominance, Spain are behind. What a hit from Neto. Sixth goal of this World Cup. Got right through that. And absolutely nothing Juan Ho could do. Spain nil, Brazil won. And the deadlock is broken. Just under five minutes into the second half. Oh, how they will be kicking themselves now, Spain. That they didn't turn their first half dominance into a lead of some kind. And now they find themselves chasing the game. Lin. Ortiz. Lozano to Fernandão. Spain looking to hit back. It was always going to take something spectacular because neither side were really being opened up defensively. And that strike certainly fell into the spectacular category. Punched away by Thiago. Fernandinho. Here's Ortiz though, looking to respond. And it's blocked away. And there's a bit of nonsense now. Neto not too happy with Ortiz's reaction. They're claiming that he went with the forearm on Neto. There is such rivalry between these two that when it comes to it, you wouldn't be at all surprised if it boiled over. Ortiz was strong in the challenge there with Fernandinho. That's not what they were complaining about. They were complaining about the forearm that they felt caught Neto. And the referee just having a word with Ortiz just to calm it down a bit. No further action being taken. And it is a Spanish ball. 
Played in by Ortiz. Block on Lin. Simi. Vinicius. And Dow did an awful lot there. Vinicius. And the yellow card is out. Oh, a bit harsh for me, that. Five minutes gone, second half. Here is the goal that separates the sides. It was like an arrow into the corner. I couldn't believe he'd been beaten from that distance, but it was just the power and the accuracy of it from Neto. Lin. Now Ortiz. Tiago out to narrow the angle and get the block. Certainly not panic stations yet for Spain. Well, they're not a side that will panic. But there will come a point where they are trailing when they will have to take chances. Mazzano is blocked. It's poofed away anywhere by Neto. Kike. Then up to Fernandao. Well, Tiago did well. Now they're claiming that he came out the area and made the block with an arm. Certainly a risky tactic from Tiago. We've seen a couple of goalkeepers get caught and their momentum's taken them out of the penalty area. It's Fernandinho. Kike. And now to Lozano, who escaped behind the Brazilian defence. I thought that was a corner, but must have come back off Lozano again. So he hit it against Thiago, his netto. Just got away from Fernandao. He took a risk there because he was the last man. He's still going, Neto, and forces the save from Juanjo. Well, he was allowed to run the length of the pitch there, Neto. Escape from Fernandao, and then there wasn't another challenge on him. Zana. Miguel. Lozano. Miguel again. Fernandao. Miguel. Lozano, Fernandao wriggles away. Again, Thiago makes the block. I think he may have made the block there with a, a part of his anatomy that isn't the most orthodox. <laughs> Maybe wrong. Fernandao gets away and... Let's just say he spread himself to make the save. Oof. Every male viewer winces in unison. An awful lot the physio can do, is there? It's just gonna, just gonna have to wait for nature to take its course. Brave from Thiago. Spain a goal down then. And what a wonderful goal it was from Neto. Great hit. It was always bending away from Juanjo. He has the sympathy of everybody down there. I wonder if he may 
have to even come off for a bit. They've got Goita and Franklin, three goalkeepers in the Brazilian squad. Some teams have come here just with two. Brazil, one of those who have made doubly sure they, they've got backup. Guita is the only player in the squad, actually, that hasn't played at all. Now he's, he's run it off, Thiago. Fernandinho was almost through there. Goalkeeping by Juanjo. It's Torres. Hell him out. Under pressure from Vinicius. And pressure that has seen Simi come up with the ball. Simi! Just past the post. Well, it would have been an awful long way back from Spain had that crept inside. That wasn't too far away at all from Simi. Alimau, Torres, Kike, now Migain, made across by Migain to Torres, couldn't get the shot away. Maybe be thinking, how on earth are we behind here? It's been a bit different second half in fairness, Brazil have offered more of an attacking threat since the break. Spain now find themselves chasing a game that they, they really should have been leading by half time. There's McGain. Not necessarily in terms of missed chances, they didn't rack up that many, but in terms of their dominance of the ball and corners and attempts on target, they were well ahead of Brazil. It's Torres. And again, trying to exchange with Alamau. Kike. Uh, Torres didn't get hold of it. It's twice now the ball's arrived within shooting distance at Torres' feet and he's miskicked it. Here's Jé. Well off target though. Here's Migain. Now Alim out. Opening here for Brazil. Now was there a foul? Mm, well, yes. Rather belatedly, the referee does blow for the foul on Vinicius, and it is a yellow card for Kike. A shake of the head from Kike, but he joins. Fernandao in the book. Danger here for Spain. Given how tight it's been, two goal margin maybe too big a gap to fill. You see big comebacks and futsal, but it's paper thin. The difference between these two sides and a two-goal lead in one of these games is massive. Foul count creeping up as well for Spain. Three now. Brazil halfway towards a, a long penalty. Foul count. Couldn't squeeze it through. Rodrigo. Tiago. This is Jay. Steps inside, now Kike for Spain. Well covered by Ari. Miguel. Now Miguel. Big loop on that, it's a Spanish corner. Frustration down there on the Spanish bench. The inability to break down Brazil. K. 
Kike. Away by Gabriel. I think the game plan from Brazil has been a lot more conservative than perhaps Spain were expecting. It's certainly not going to change with Brazil taking the lead. Miguel. Here's Torres. Not by Neto, the goal scorer. Miguel. Torres. It's got a hold of it okay, but almost too well. Ari. It's kicked away by Tiago. There's going to be some big decisions to be made by Vanessa Lopez, the coach of Spain, in the next 11 minutes. Alimau. Miguel. Under pressure here from Rafael. Spain attempting to play their way out of it, but Kike decided enough was enough. Ari. Now Jay, turn from Kike, who gets the block in. Ari again. This is Kike. Well, Rafael just making sure he was getting something on the ball, didn't care where it went. Alim out. Kike. Kike again to Migain. Takes it on Migain and, well, Disappointing shot in the end. It was quick feet to escape from Jay. He was rooted to the spot to make the angle, but I think had it been on target, it would have been blocked by Tiago. Again. Fernandao. Alimau. Again, and a foul given against Ari on Fernandao, and he's yellow carded. First foul for Brazil, second half. Just about at the midway point of the second half as well, three quarters of the way through. FIFA Futsal World Cup final, Brazil leading 1-0. Wonderful goal by Neto. Sixth goal of the tournament. Will it be the goal that wins Brazil the World Cup? Or do Spain have something up their sleeve? Kike is over this. Kike, Miguel, oh, it's a great save, and Torres follows in for Spain, and it's 1-1. Really well worked free kick. You have to feel for Thiago in the Brazilian goal, who's made a fantastic save to deny Miguel. But look at the reactions of Torres to slam home the equaliser, and we are all square again. It's a terrific save from Thiago. And in truth, he reacted well to try and get up for the rebound, but it was a great clinical finish from Torres. And he scores in successive World Cup finals. Got on the score sheet four years ago in the 2-2 draw, and he's done it again. And with 10 minutes to go, it is Spain 1, Brazil 1. Well, it was expected to be a classic, and it is certainly turning into that. Fabulous game. Futsal of the highest quality. The technical abilities of these two sides awe-inspiring. Tight and intriguing in the first half, albeit with no goals. Then the wonderful hit from Neto to put Brazil in front. And the predatory instincts of Torres. Willing Spain level. It's Gabriel, though, for Brazil. Goodness me, any touch from Ortiz, and that would have gone into his own net. Great play from Gabriel. And 
Here's Fernandao. Harry with the block. Fernandinho. Rafael. Harry. So much tension around this arena. Harry again. Fernandinho. Now Harry. Gabriel. Harry. Ricardo. For the run of Lozano. Ricardo again. Forward towards Fernandao. It's a. It's a play that they've used three or four times without too much success so far. The goalkeeper chipping it straight down to the head of Fernandao. They've sort of got to grips with it every time, though. There's a chance, maybe! Oh! It's gone in! Unbelievable! Ricardo has put Spain in front! A shot, really, that should have been a routine save from Thiago. But there was the slightest deflection, and it's taken it in. That has to go down as an error from the goalkeeper, really. Got to be saving that. And Spain have turned this around with two goals in quick succession. Icardo of Barcelona makes it Spain 2, Brazil 1. Neto. Can Brazil respond? It's wide. Well, it's really opened up now, the final. Prepare for a thrilling final nine minutes. Officially, just a minute between those two goals from Torres. 29-55, Icardo, 30-56. Rafael. And suddenly this final has been turned on its head. Well, they need him. That is Falcao. No, I think made a difference when he came on after the break. He's resting those legs again. Fernandinho is down for Brazil. But Brazil's reign as world champions has 8 minutes 47 left to run unless they can find a goal. Spain set to extend that extraordinary winning or well, undefeated streak. 120 games. I don't think even Ocado thought he was going to score when he hit that. Thiago's reaction says it all. And so does Neto's. Taking out his frustration on the goalpost. Fernandao. Now Neto. Plenty of time for Brazil to pull it back, though, although that's a heavy touch from Neto. And he was lucky that Fernandao couldn't get onto that. Falcao, Vinicius, Neto, no surprise to see Falcao called upon again, Neto, still no Vilda though for Brazil, Neto, There's Rafael, Vinicius, Falcao, the two 35-year-olds out there now, Brazil, Vinicius and Falcao. Ortiz, picked up by Neto. Now Vinicius. Rafael. Back with Thiago, he did well. To prevent Spain getting possession high up then. Here's Fernandao. It's not let anyone down this final. Spain 2, Brazil 1. Previous two World Cup meetings have finished 2-2 between these two sides. Could we be going there again? Falcao. Lozano has won it back. Migain ahead of him. Falcao getting the block in, though. Brazil scramble it away. Here's Neto. Migain. Now Icardo, Kike, 
Migain. Played in by Migain, but just behind Icardo. Had it been played into the run of Icardo, and Spain could well have been celebrating a third goal. It is amazing how these matches can just suddenly turn in an instant. And that's most certainly happened to Brazil. Both goals an element of misfortune attack to them. Vinicius is Ari. Turning towards Ari again by Rafael. Spain get it away. Spain playing in their fifth consecutive World Cup final. Not even Brazil have managed that. They played in four in a row until failing to reach the 2004 final. The only one they haven't done is Torres, and that's a good save. In by Kike and Torres on the volley. It's a good connection. Rafael. Now Ari. Rafael helps it on to Falcao. He's denied by the legs of Juanjo. What a story it would be, wouldn't it, if Falcao was to grab the equaliser for Brazil. Harry with the corner. Spain, no, there's a long way to go. Made across by Harry. And Vinicius. Torres, blocked by Falcao. Now Ari. Vinicius. Rafael. Just can't seem to stop winning international tournaments, Spain, can they? And now they're just six minutes away from lifting the Futsal World Cup. Falcao. Ari. Defended by Alamau. There's Torres. With Thiago. Must be strange for Alamau and Fernandao playing against the country of their birth in a in a World Cup final. Spain push for the third goal, or do they try and wind the clock down? All decisions to be made by Vanessa Lopez, the coach. He's Miguel. Now Torres. Time slowly ebbing away for Brazil. Here's Ari. Vinicius. Falcao. It's by Migain. This is Ari. Space here, maybe, for Neto. Just couldn't pull the trigger before he was closed down. Falcao now. It's by Migain. Held up by Falcao. This is Neto. And that was a crucial tackle because Neto was winding up to drive at goal again. Gabriel. Now Ari. Neto. Gabriel, deflection on that, corner Brazil. Harry to deliver. Ooh, beaten away by Juanjo. Sometimes it's a good corner, that. Just drive it in there and hope for a deflection. If it's your day, it'll go in. Neto. Gabriel Neto. Falcao couldn't get that. He's going to get more game time than he was expecting, Falcao, in this final. The goalkeeper's out. Fernandao couldn't gather, and he's down again here, Thiago. There's a collision between the two players. Now, what is the referee's decision here? Because Icardo is down. 
Both players in need of treatment. The first time that Thiago's been down in this second half. Well, here is the incident. Well, it's a genuine challenge for the ball from both players. Back on the back of the head from the goalkeeper's arms. Difficult to see where Thiago was caught. Wet moppers are on. Carlo may have a bit of a lump on the back of his head later on. He's been yellow carded for the challenge, Thiago. Second Brazilian into the book along with Ari. Spain work the opening though from here. The referee making sure Brazil are the required distance away. Spain score from here, they can almost touch that World Cup. It's played across, it's off the bar! from Torres, really unlucky. Well, he took a gamble, Thiago, by joining in the wall, and when Spain shifted it, the anger was there for the shot. Now, this is going to get interesting. Four and a bit minutes to go, and Brazil are flying the goalkeeper. Rodrigo donning the goalkeeper's jersey. Brazil will go with the extra outfield player to try and force this equaliser. Of course, it is a high-risk strategy, because if you lose possession, Spain will have an open goal. Neto, Rodrigo, Falcao, Rodrigo, Falcao. Rodrigo again. It's Falcao! Oh, what a goal from the legend! 2-2! Fabulous goal from Falcao. He just had to, didn't he? In what is probably his last World Cup. Falcao leaves us with a wondrous goal in the final. Spain 2, Brazil 2. And that is the goal that everybody, other than Spaniards, wanted to see. Well, it's worked, the flying goalkeeper. Thiago is back on. And not for the first time in a big World Cup meeting between Spain and Brazil, the scoreline is sat at 2-2. Three and a half minutes left to decide it. Neto. What a fantastic final this has turned into. Everything we expected and more between these two fabulous teams. It's Fernand out. And whatever happens now, you have to say a goal from Falcao in this final is the, the cherry on the cake. Especially the kind of goal it was. Talk about going to the wire again, these two. It is a great rivalry. Will he be required again, Falcao? Well, that's edging up. Spain will need to be careful of that. Simi over this for Brazil, and it's off target. A 
Triple Teeth. Teeth again into Fernandao. Alimau. Icardo. What's impressive is the way that Marco Serrato decided to fire the goalkeeper so early, still with four minutes to go. Anyways, you can understand the thinking, why wait to the final minute when it may be too late? Well, look at that, the possession has turned completely around. It has been a very different game, second half. Spain were dominating those stats first half. Now Brazil just about edging it. Ricardo. And again. Fernandão. Ali Mount. Ricardo. One mistake, one piece of magic. In the final two and a half minutes could well win the World Cup. We've had one mistake already from Tiago. Here's Ari. Don't know about Spain's second goal, but he's got away with that. Thanks to Falcao getting him out of trouble. And Vinicius has been caught in possession. Tiago gets it away. And now we have two on two here. Brazil can play it right. Good block, though, to deny Neto. Harry. There's Vinicius. Great space here, Vinicius. Still going. It's played in towards Rafael. Now Neto. Brazil really pushing here. The momentum is with the defending world champions. And Vinicius has stayed down. It's like a bit of a, a whack in the face by the looks of it. Should see it from this angle. Oh, yes. It's the shoulder of Lozano. One minute 52 to decide it. And we go to extra time. Miguel. Now Kike. Okay, again. Fernandão. Lozano. Fernandão. Block from Neto. Kike. He's given away to Ari. Has Jay up in support. Here is Jay. Steps away from one challenge. Lays it off to Rafael. Terrific goalkeeping. Rafael had the World Cup at his feet then, but couldn't finish it off. Great break, break away from Ari and then Jay. Yeah, it was the first touch that invited the tackle from Migain, who got there, in fact, ahead of Juanjo. Chipped in by Ari to Rafael. Off balance and off target. Migain. Five fouls now up against Spain. Could this World Cup be decided by a penalty from the second penalty mark? Because one more foul from Spain, and Brazil will have a strike from the second penalty mark. The spot you can see there. 
First one outside the edge of the Spanish penalty area. And there's so many dead ball specialists in their team, you'd have to fancy Brazil to take advantage of that. They are walking a tightrope here, Spain. With a minute 13 to go, they cannot afford to give away another foul. Miguel. Lozano. Here's Kike. Migain. Final minute. Goal now for either team. Surely wins it. Oh, breakdown in communication there. Neto. Ari. Neto again. Run from Ari, the header by Lozano. Lozano again, Migain. It's a Brazilian ball. Brazil have possession. 36 seconds to go. Neto. Jay. Rafael, this is Ari. Oh, this is uncanny, isn't it? Are we heading for another 2-2 draw between these two teams? It's exactly the same as four years ago in the World Cup final. Nil-nil at half-time, 2-2 at full-time. Unless Jay can grab one here, blocked away. 17 seconds. Is there a killer blow to come? Or will we be going to extra time? Oh, goodness me, it's a timeout now. as if it could get any more tense. The Brazilians have called it. Imagine if they decided to fly the goalkeeper here with 17 seconds to go. All or nothing strategy. Be surprised, I must admit. It's a fabulous atmosphere, everybody enjoying themselves. Brazil have led, Spain have led, but ultimately it is 2-2 with 17 and a half seconds to go in the World Cup final. He must be delighted. What a showpiece match. To thrust five-a-side football into the limelight. Here we go then. Final 17 and a half seconds. Here's Rafael towards Jay, who's blocked by Ortiz. That's a final deserving of another 10 minutes. Migain. Here's Lozano. Ortiz! Oh, what a way to win the World Cup that would have been. Just too high. Thrown out by Thiago, the header away, and that is it. For the third successive time in a World Cup meeting between these two teams, extra time is required. 2-2 in the 2004 semi-final, Spain winning on penalties. 2-2 in the 2008 final, four years ago, Brazil winning on penalties. And in the 2012 Futsal World Cup final, it is again Spain 2, Brazil 2. A fantastic match, which will have 10 minutes more to decide the destination of the World Cup. In a World Cup final, the 35-year-old Falcao. And if that is his parting shot at a World Cup, well, what a present of a memory he's left us with with that strike. There may be more to come, of course. Five minutes each way, extra time. If that does not bring us a winner, and it will be a penalty shootout again between these two for the third successive World Cup. There is nothing to choose between these two nations. First met back in 1989 in the group stages. Brazil comfortable winners, 4-1, as they were four years later in the semi-final. 96, they first met in the World Cup final. Brazil won that one, 6-4, in a really open game. Four years later, Spain gained their revenge, defeating Brazil 4-3 to end Brazil's run 
as world champions. And then four years later, Spain retained the title. After beating Brazil in the semi-final on penalties, they defeated Italy in the first all-European final. And then four years ago, Brazil gaining revenge by beating Spain in that final. So we're ready to go. Humar Karina being treated for an extra 10 minutes. It will be Brazil to get the first period of extra time underway. Sometimes when matches are billed as classics, they don't always live up to expectations. This one most definitely has, particularly in the second half. Five minutes each way then. If we are level at the end of that, it will be a penalty shootout. We're away. That time by Ortiz. Quickly taken by Vinicius to Ari. Made in by Ari again. It's dropped here for Rafael. No foul. I think Lin was concerned. He had stepped across him. It's Lin again. He was lucky to get that back from Ari. Now Vinicius. Here's Ari. Oh, Falcao was in space. Had Ari been able just to thread the ball through. Ari. Here's Vinicius. Well, we haven't needed a penalty shootout so far at this World Cup. Italy beating Portugal in extra time, Brazil beating Argentina in extra time. Into the semi finals decided in the regulation 40. There's Lin. Now, Lin again, faced by Falcao. Falcao getting the block. Lin almost got it back again. So the last World Cup match to go to penalties was the final four years ago between these two in Brazil. Falcao. Here's Ari. Falcao, Rafael, Falcao, lovely flick to Vinicius, now Rafael, it's to the roar of the fans when Falcao does his tricks, final touch off Torres, but it's a bright start to the first period from Brazil. Falcao to Vinicius, Falcao again. Zari. Falcao. Spain have some possession with Alamao. Torres. Goes for goal. Locked away by Vinicius. to Ortiz, to the Spanish corner. Both teams have led in this final, which was the only difference to four years ago. Brazil twice led in the 2-2 draw before going to penalties. Ortiz, it's well wide. First half dominance that Spain enjoyed, certainly not in evident ne evidence now. Vinicius. More even in the second half. Brazil slightly edging the possession after the break. It's Lozano. Here's Ortiz. 
they do win the World Cup. That moment when Marco Serrato decided to fly the goalkeeper with four and a bit minutes to go. Proved pivotal. Brought about the Brazilian equaliser from Falcao. Kike. Fernandão. Gathered by Thiago. And now at the other end, it's Falcao. Just couldn't get the second touch. And well gathered by Juanjo. Migain. Vinicius. Here's Ari. Simi. Neto. And now getting the block in. They you know how dangerous Neto can be from distance. And a strike that opened the scoring in this final. Clipped in by Ari. Lozano. Challenge on Neto, who's put it behind for a corner. And two teams have produced wonderful entertainment like this. It's a real shame that one of them has to lose. Not reality, though, of top-level sport. It can just be that one moment that makes all the difference. Need a piece of genius or a piece of fortune. Hoping for some fortune here from this corner. Kike. That's for Lozano. Now Kike is in a good position here. Well blocked by Neto. Have to work so hard in this sport to close down the space. And avoid being punished. Just over a minute left. First period. KK again. Fernandao is in there. Lozano comes short. Lozano leaves it. And the shot from Migain. As well gathered by Thiago. Fernandao. Again, and out. Again, goes for goal. Good save. Really good save from Thiago. Suddenly up the pace to the left. Again, shifted in, and that was on its way. Really good block from Thiago. Harry. Simi. Simi. Straight at one hook. We go in for Spain. Seconds of the first period. Brazil, I think, have slightly edged it. Run by Lozano, though. He's giving it away now. Vinicius. Vinicius lays it off. Brazil with everybody back now, though. There's still a chance for Brazil. And they got away with that. Neto unable to produce what he did before in the second half. Fernandão. chance of this first period of extra time and Kike happy to see the clock down and it remains Spain 2 Brazil 2 and now we have just five minutes to decide it before the dreaded penalty shootout
that's how we stand. Net opening, Brazil in front, Torres with the equaliser. Icardo putting Spain ahead. And the legend that is Falcao with the equaliser for Brazil. Five minutes away. The World Cup being decided by penalties for the second time in succession. Prior to four years ago, Final had never even gone to extra time. Nothing to choose between Spain and Brazil. Spain had more titles because they were more familiar with futsal in the early days. Here's Kike. Now Miguel. Kike. Sport that is the basis of so much success at the 11 aside game for both Spain and Brazil. But they're the masters at it, but the rest of the world is catching up, but there's still an awfully long way to go. The ability on display in this final has just been sensational. Kike. Gabriel. Neto. Rafael. away by Migain. Neto. Cardo getting the block in now. Migain races away, doesn't have much support. And a wonderful block. Well played, Rafael. Really positive play by Migain. Ticks ever closer. The penalty shootout. Kike. It's behind again. Fernandinho. Okay, he was claiming it had gone out of play and almost let Fernandinho run away with it. Ricardo. Neto. Neto again. Gabriel. Off target. Now, now Kike. Tension excruciating. And that's from a neutral standpoint. Heaven knows what it must be like for Brazilian and Spanish supporters. And those involved with the two teams. Ricardo. Pull him out. Torres. The teeth. Cut out though by Rafael, who's charging forwards. And Dino was almost there. You can see the accumulated fouls have carried over to the extra time period, 5-3 now, oh, the corner whipped across and somehow Spain got it away and this is Torres, here's Icardo, tries to square it, they're appealing for handball, nothing given, well, I'd like to see that again, Vinicius, now Ari, Vinicius, Neto, Harry, Fernandinho. 
Now Vinicius. Vinicius again. Harry making a surge into the area. The block away by Ocado. Header back to Thiago. Harry. Vinicius. Fernandinho. Harry on the run. Ricardo showing him into the corner though. Now Neto. Blocked away. Fernandinho's lost it and Neto is off target. What a chance for Neto. Alimau got it stuck under himself. It was just shifted on by Fernandinho and had Neto kept that lower, that was 3 2 Brazil. Officials got that right. It was off Neto's back. Somehow it missed his arm, but it did miss it. Lozano. Ali Mount. Fernandao. The pressure from Neto. Oh, now, is that a foul by Fernandao? It is. Fernandao has committed the foul. It was a real tussle with Neto and. You felt there was a real danger that it would go against the Spaniards and Brazil had themselves a second penalty with 90 seconds or so to go. Oh, what a moment. Must have been in Fernandao's mind. What on earth was he doing, really? And he can look appalled at the referee, but he may well have just gifted the World Cup to Brazil here. Spanish players knew they were on five fouls. And that every foul from there on in would produce this situation. Can he keep it out? Yes, he can! Rodrigo fails to convert it. And one hole, at least temporarily, becomes the hero for Spain. The outstretched leg behind him is what's kept Spain level. And that is a big, big let off for Fernandao. Here he is at the other end. Kike. Lozano. Still in the same boat, Spain, because every foul now counts as a second penalty. Fernandao. Ari. What a chance for Rodrigo, though, to win the World Cup for Brazil. 59 seconds. Oh, they know they got away with one there. Especially against Brazil, a side who generally take advantage of those second penalty situations. It's Kike. It's a great ball from Kike. Torres, though, just couldn't hit the volley. Difficult one to try and hit that. Would have been one of the most spectacular World Cup winners of all time. Rafael. Vinicius. Falcao is on for the final 30 seconds. Well, the roof would come off if he scored the winner. Not because there's anything against Spain. Here's Neto! Brazil have won it! 20 seconds to go, and the player who started the scoring in this World Cup final has more than certainly ended it. 3-2 Brazil. And it looks as though Falcao is going to bow out with not only a World Cup final goal, but a winner's medal.
skipped away from Fernandel and drilled it past one hope. And that is surely the goal that has won the Futsal World Cup for Brazil. Look at the reaction of Neto. Unbelievable. Sensational, whatever you want to call it. This has been a tremendous final. And it looks as though the need of a penalty shootout has been negated by the brilliance of Neto. And now Spain are going to have to fly the goalkeeper for 20 seconds. But surely now there is no way back. Well, he's been yellow carded for the, the celebration. Absolutely crazy. Not supposed to get excited about scoring a World Cup final winner, possibly. Kike. Played him by Kike and headed over by Fernandao, and that could be it. Nice spot from Kike, but Thiago doing enough to get in about Fernandao and force his header over. Well, Thiago is down. Fabulous game. A worthy end to any World Cup. And no wonder they're happy. They are about to retain their World Cup. And they are about to be world champions for the fifth time out of seven Futsal World Cup. Well, at least they can afford a smile, the Spaniards. The team has done them proud again, but they've just come up short once more against Brazil. This will be the third time that Spain have suffered a loss to Brazil. Oh, it's all too much for some in the sport's ultimate match. You have to say the three Brazilian goals have been sensational. Two from Neto, either side of Falcao. Well, perhaps in a few years' time, he'll be here. Helping Spain to win another Futsal World Cup. They're so used to winning the Spanish at the moment, that's the trouble. World champions, successive European champions in the 11-a-side sport. Each soccer team is the most successful in Europe in terms of European titles. This is the futsal side, but they are 10 seconds away from a World Cup final defeat here. Torres, Fernandao. Is there to be more drama or is it over? Here's Kike, here's Lozano. Oh, saved by Thiago, and that is it. Brazil have won the World Cup. Spain are crestfallen and devastated. But Brazil have won the Futsal World Cup for the fifth time. And the likes of Vinicius and Falcao can bow out with World Cup winners' medals. And Falcao scores on what is surely his farewell performance at a World Cup. Tears of joy, tears of sorrow, whichever end you're with. But Brazil are the Futsal World Champions. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed the 2012 FIFA Futsal World Cup with us. The only shame is we've got to wait four years for another one. But Brazil have retained their title by beating Spain. This wonderful rivalry taken to the World Cup final again. Spain's 119 unbeaten match run comes to an end at the hands of Brazil in the two teams that just keep on beating each other. But it is Brazil who come out on top again it really was a sensational final, worthy of capping any a competition. And the South American champions have beaten the European champions 3-2 after extra time. A wonderful game, Neto with two and Falcao scoring the goals that have seen off Spain. It's finished Brazil 3, Spain 2. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, it's goodbye.